Hi, my name is Kurt Hyden, and I'm a Product Technology Manager on the Shopping Actions team. For part one of setting up data attributes, I'll show you how to set up required attributes in your Shopping Actions feed. It's important that you have the right attributes and information to avoid product disapproval. Stick around until the end of the video for a few feed optimization tips. First, log into your Merchant Center account. Click Products, then Feeds. If you don't have a feed yet, you can create a new one by clicking the blue plus icon. Today, we'll use the feed we've created for this demo. You'll notice I've already populated a few required attributes. To add another one, let's add a row for a black Google T. We'll enter the product ID first. Make sure the ID is unique and doesn't change over time. Then, the title. Put the product name first if your title is long in case it gets cut off on mobile. For the description, we'll include the most relevant features and visual attributes. How much does it cost? The availability. Add the condition. And here is our image link. Make sure that it's crawlable and doesn't change over time. Finally, since we have a G10, we're required to submit it to help Google identify our product. Before we move on to part two in the next video, here are five tips to help you optimize your listing. Number one, for better searchability of your product, include this in your title, brand plus product plus variant. Here's an example, black Google T. Number two, did you know about automatic item updates? This Merchant Center feature updates the price and availability of your products based on your site information. This feature affects both shopping ads and shopping actions. Number three, if you don't have a G10, manufacturer part number and brand details are required. The MPN is provided by your manufacturer, so don't use your own values. For brand name, use a recognizable name. Make sure you review the requirements for your Google product category. Number four, use the excluded destination attribute instead of out of stock if you want to exclude products from shopping actions while continuing to sell them on shopping ads. If you're not selling the product anymore, remove it completely from your feed. Finally, make sure you know which attributes are required for your specific category of products or your base country. Consumer notice, for instance, is required for products with consumer warning labels. That's it for part one. Watch the next video to learn tips about recommended attributes and how to add them to your feed. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description below to learn more in our help center.